Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby version. Pick your team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All cards ship, one auto a box. A fairly long break, so settle in. And good luck everybody here on a Monday, the 22nd. Just pick your team four. There, there is another case. I added another case on the site. There's everyone right there. Thanks to Greg. Locking, uh, knocking out the break. Toronto Blue Jays, last spot mojo. Let's see what we got here. We got Gladiator on the background. This is the, I think we're kind of halfway through it. I think this is, this is the first battle scene in, maybe the second battle scene in. Is it Gladiator scene in the movie? Maybe the second one. Oh, remember, this is part of the uh, MVP buyback. You can scan that QR code there and figure it out. Or just Google it, I guess. Either way. Gladiator 2. I feel like that was a long time coming, but I guess they're finally going to do it. Generally, I'm not a big sequel guy, but uh, I suppose in a world as extensive and as rich as the one in uh, ancient Rome, I suppose, that there's always stories to tell. Was oh, a tiger going to come out of there? Oh. The trailer for Gladiator 2 looked amazing. I didn't realize that. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm sure I've read it at some point. But they, they filled the Colosseum with water to stage like miniature naval battles in there. I think they're going to do that in the movie. We got Ellie Dela Cruz. Start things off. That's going to be for Tristan and the Red Legs. Here's Aaron Judge. These are your MVP buybacks. He's the favorite. At least according to Vegas, the odds-on favorite for AL Rookie uh, Rookie of the Year, AL uh, MVP. And there's Zach Remillard for the White Sox. Joe Christian in the White Sox, one of the last teams taken. There's Jackson Churio, Michael with Milwaukee. 
And we were talking about this. Wow. The Blue Jays were the last team taken. Before I started the break, we went through the checklist, and I was like, man, I pulled a Mike Trout Helix, you know, in a different case. And that's a super short print. I don't think these are even one per case. And I was like, well, Blue Jays are left. They got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Helix. That'd be cool to pull. And we got it. Greg, Toronto Blue Jays, last spot mojo. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits all the time. Congrats. Blue Jays were just sitting there too. Nobody wanted them. Not until the very end. It's Mason Wynn for the Cardinals. And there's an orange Rizzo. Seven out of 25 for the Yankees. That'll go to Brian. Mason Wins will go to Kevin and the Cardinals. Tyler Glass now is back off the IL. There's an Otani Refractor. He's your odds-on favorite for the... Uh, and the Refractor is nice, too. Um, for NL... MVP, Taylor with the Dodgers, could be part of the buyback program. Here's Teoscar at a clutch hit tonight. Next box, onwards. And we got an orange auto. Three out of 25, Lucan Baker. Use the false, Lucan. That's going to be for Kevin and the Cardinals. I don't know 
I like this design. I'm digging it. We saw that earlier in the year. The chrome version of it looks really sharp. There's a base Aaron Judge. There's Slade Kakoni, 58 out of 99. Jeremy with the Diamondbacks. Brian with the Yankees. Let's try to find some parallels of, uh, of Aaron Judge. And there's Emerson Hancock. Is that our second autograph? It is. Bonus auto. It's going to go to Taylor and the Mariners. Ellie Della Cruz base. All right, another box. So this break will uh, pretty much, this is our last break of the night if you're just joining us. Although it's been fairly uh, fairly quiet in the chat. I don't think I've had anyone say anything for about 30 minutes, so I think people are okay with that. So sit back, relax, however you're watching us right now. Enjoy the break. Apologies if there are big hits. We might might wake you up from your half sleepy state. There's Emmanuel Classe, 199 out of 199 for Greg and the Guardians. All etch rookie rush, Jason Dominguez, all cards ship. And there's Tyler Fitzgerald, 172 out of 499. I'm pretty sure he's the kid that has four homers in four days, including one today against my Dodgers. He's on a bit of a hot streak here. This is going to go to the Giants. Tong Hyun with the Giants. Uh, 
All right, another box. Another hobby box. And we got Quinn Priester, Magenta, Speckle, 246 out of 350 for the Pirates. Coppola with the Pirates. We got a little bit of that plastic coating on the back. Oh no, it's just a uh, extra piece right there. Never mind. I thought that would be, there's like a plastic coat on the back. I thought that was peeling off the back. But here's a uh, Jung Hoo Lee refractor. Hopefully it'll bounce back from that shoulder injury. Nice Junior Caminero for the Rays. Sandy Alcantara to 199, Aqua Lava for the fish. That's going to go to Eric M. Uh, Tong Hyun had the Giants. He's going to get the Jung Hoo Lee and the Junior Caminero will go to Chris Phelps and the Rays. Rays might be sellers. I think once, uh, once their talent starts to age out a little bit. There's Kyle Harrison to 150, and if they're good, and a lot of times they are, they, they have to pay him. Instead of doing that, they'll move him. They did that with Glass now last year. They've done it often. Kyle Harrison going to Tong Hyun. Um, so we'll see if they make some moves in the summer. I'm sure they, they have some players, some assets that, that people like. That Yelich is to 50. All etch, 14 out of 50. Nice. He's, he's having a really nice bounce back season. Maybe comeback player of the year type season. Uh, that's going to go to Michael and the Brewers. He's healthy. The back. He's had back issues. That's, that's held him back. And, but now that appears to be fully healthy.
All right, next hobby box. Good luck, everybody. You know what? I haven't looked at the uh, the standings in a minute or two. Coming out of the All-Star break. Baltimore is a game and a half ahead of the Yankees. That's going to be that should be a fun battle. Race to the end. Um Behind them are the Red Sox. They're seven games back. Not sure if they're going to challenge for the for the East, but we'll see. Yeah, Rays are ten and a half back. They they might start moving players. Blue Jays are fifteen back. I mean, I think their GM about a month ago said, "No, yeah, why would we trade guys like Bichette and why would we trade guys like Vlad Guerrero Jr.?" But I don't know. Maybe they have to maybe they have to reevaluate a little bit where they're at. In the AL Central, the Guardians are trying to hold off the Twins and Royals. They're both four games back. Royals are eight and two in their last ten. So they've been they've been heating up. It could be a fun race to watch as well. Tigers are ten back. White Sox are thirty-three and a half games back. Um, it's Jackson Holiday. Aaron with the Orioles. Imanaga and Heston Kirkstad rookie autograph. Orioles, they got a lot of talent on that team, a lot of hitters. Aaron with the O's, and if they all reach their potential, they, they can't play them all, they can't pay them all. I don't know, next couple seasons, they may, they may kind of have to make some hard decisions just to improve other areas of the team. We'll see what happens. Here's Yamamoto for the Dodgers. Slowly making his way back from shoulder inflammation. I think he's throwing a bullpen or two without any pain, so that's that's a good sign. There's Aaron Judge. And Nolan Arenado, purple to 250. That's gonna be for Kevin. And the Cardinals. And there's Randy Arzarania, Hyper. That's a guy that I would love to see the Dodgers try to pick up. He's been heating up a little bit. He's got that sort of clutch gene, which I think would be helpful for the Dodgers in the playoffs. Would lock down that left field position, which has been kind of a little bit of a hole with Miguel Vargas, Chris Taylor, Kiki kind of platooning around that left field spot. They could use a little more stability there. You know, maybe Vargas could slide down to down to third base, just where he, I think he started playing. He'd probably be a little more comfortable there and focus on a little bit of the hitting too would be interesting. Not sure what's happening with Max Muncie. That oblique issue, every time he's kind of goes back to baseball activities, seems to have a setback again. I don't know, how long is it gonna take for him to to get healthy, ramp up, and get enough reps in before the playoffs.
We're running out of baseball season, folks. We just got what another another week, week, week and a few days before the end of the month. We're already in October, October, September. That's it. Trade deadline next Wednesday. Not this Wednesday, but the one after that. We're gonna see a lot of. Hopefully, we'll see a lot of uh, a lot of movement by the trade deadline. We'll, we'll see. Passed by Luis Robert, he might get traded. Here's Michael Harris, gold to three, uh, to fifty. That is three out of fifty. Richard with the Braves, nice. Got Bo Naylor to two ninety nine for Cleveland. This is for you, Greg. I mean, does Aros Arania get traded? And we got a Mookie Betts relic. Nice authentic relic. If you look up those letters and numbers, Dodgers, go to MLB.com slash authentication, Taylor with my Dodgers, and we'll see what date that jersey came from. And you can probably check out the Mookie Betts game log on you know baseballreference.com, see if he did anything that day. Usually with every day with hitters you have a better chance than like say their pitching counterparts to see if they got if they got something that day. Sometimes you'll get a cool story out of it. We were breaking, I forget what the product was. This is Wyatt Langford and the TJ Hopkins. Tristan with the Reds. I think it was like strata baseball, top strata. See if we can find his teammate, Tristan. And this uh, Taylor will also get the, no, different Taylor. Taylor Dwyer has the Dodger, Taylor Clark um, with the Rangers. There you go, Taylors. I think it was Strata. We pulled a relic and autograph. Here's a hyper Jung Hoo Lee, nice. That would be for Tong Hyun. And um, it was a white, it's a plain white jersey, but there was a little bit of what looked like, um, like Gatorade, like fruit punch Gatorade, red Gatorade. Right, and I was aware, like that's that's kind of weird, you know, like. And so, and it it was one of the products with the with the hologram sticker on it. We looked it up. I think it was like a Padre, an old Padres catcher or something like that. I, I don't even remember the name, but um, maybe Victor Carantini, I don't know. Um, but we looked it up, looked up the game log, turned out uh, it was a walk-off home run. So that was definitely from like the celebration, which was, which was cool. Usually it's just like, oh, this guy went one for four, and or you know, or if it's pitchers, it's like, oh, they didn't even start that day, you know. But I think with hitters, it's it's, it's cooler. You, you might be able to find a, a, a cool story out of it. So we're actually on box six now. We're halfway through. Got about another 30 minutes to go on this one. Yeah, this will bring us a little bit, well, this will should bring us right to the top of the hour. 
and we're gonna call it after this. This is our last break of the night, but we had a really solid day, everybody, so thanks everyone for getting into the action. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern. Another base, Aaron Judge. Tyler Cropley, 247 out of 350. There's an Evan Carter. Evan Carter for Taylor Clark. Tyler Cropley will go to Kansas City. That's going to go to Coppola. Got a Zach Wheeler out of 199 Lava for the Phillies. Aqua Lava for Mark. Kershaw is going to make a start this week. He's back. There's an Otani, that's a good one for the buyback program, potentially. Chris Valamont. Oh, so that's going to be for Aaron. Shota Imanaga. Imanaga, of course, will go to Scott Anderson. Got the Cubs. I mean, I guess until Paul Skeens came along, Imanaga was the... Uh, was the early odds-on favorite for Rookie of the Year. We're going through the standings a little bit. We got through the AL East, AL Central, AL West. The Astros caught up with the Mariners. They're tied. And the Rangers are behind him. Did I pass a parallel? entirely possible. All cards ship, so... What numbered cards I've been catching, though. Do you remember who it was? I pass any numbered cards. No, I don't think I pass any numbered cards. Oh, it was the last box? I don't think I did. Those greens, I would, those are usually pretty easy to spot.
No, I don't think I did. It's all right, it's all good. It's good to double check. Oh, it was the second box of the break? Yeah, all cards ship. I'm just curious what it was. Just the Jason Dominguez, the all etch Jason Dominguez. Aha! Uh -huh. Found it! There you go. Good eye, J Loke. It was the Royce Lewis, 7 out of 99, going to Benjamin Thomas. There we go. Thanks, guys. Yeah, always make sure you're watching live so you can you can yell at me when I when I miss something. All right, so that AL going back to the standing, AL West should be interesting. Astros Mariners will be battling out. Rangers are not too far behind. They're four back of the division. I think there was some some talk about maybe they were going to uh, you know maybe be sellers, but maybe not. In the NL East, Phillies are running away with the uh, with the division. They're eight and a half ahead of the Braves, eleven and a half ahead of the Mets, sixteen ahead of the Nats, twenty eight ahead of the Marlins. Marlins will probably start seeing move some players, right? I think Nationals are actually okay with where they're at. They got a young team that they're building upon, you know. So I think they're just gonna let that ride. We'd probably love to get rid of Patrick Corbin if anybody would take that salary. But um, Brewers are ahead of the Cardinals by five games. Pirates behind by six. Could there be a little bit of a division battle there? Dodgers up on the Padres by eight and a half games. They're preparing for the playoffs. There's a Shota Imanaga refractor. And there's the Yuki Matsui 9 out of 10 autograph. That'll be for the Padres. EA. I'll do an autograph recap at the end. Among any other notable cards, there's Imanaga. Nice refractor for uh, Scott and the Cubs. Nice Ellie Della Cruz. Strokes. Tristan with the Reds. Shota and Saya, fifty seven out of ninety nine. Cubs and Dodgers opening in a uh, in Japan next year. Yeah, what are the Pirates going to do? If the Pirates don't get a bat for the middle of the lineup, they won't do anything this year. 
Yamamoto, Andre Lipsius at 350, and Junior Caminaro. Yeah, Pirates are six back. I think that division, I mean, we'll look at the wild card in a second. That division could be gettable, right? I know the Brewers have, have been pretty solid this season, but it's not like the Brewers or Cardinals are invincible this year. All right, four boxes to go. Almost there. Uh, let's actually take a look at the uh, wild card now. Yeah, they got a... Uh, really like that, you know, yeah, obviously Skeens at the top of that rotation. But um, Luis Ortiz has actually been pitching really well. And I know Jared Jones is on the IL, but he's a strikeout machine too. If they get if they get those three pitchers humming, you know, a little more offensive help. You're right. Yeah, it's Quinn Priester, right? So that's a good rotation. Yeah, Pirates are, Pirates and Padres only a half game back from the third wild card spot. Diamondbacks are only a game back. Cubs are actually still in it too, three and a half back. Mets occupy that third wild card spot. Cardinals are half a game ahead. And the Braves are three games in the lead wild card. That's a dangerous team for that wild card spot. What's the what's the you know, what's the what's the buzz around town? I don't know if you're in the Pittsburgh area, but Jeremy, what What's, what's Pirates News saying? Oh yeah, Mitch Keller too. Yeah, that's not a, it's not bad. Oh yeah, he has Money Grand Dolls on that team. He can hit a little bit. Roddy Tellez, Key Brian Hayes. They, they got some names on there. But yeah, they, they could use a nice hitter in the middle of that lineup. I'm just watching it play out, yeah. A nice hitter in the middle of that lineup could be could be really solid for them. Yeah, I mean that's everyone's everyone anyone and everyone who needs hitting has got to be picking up the phone and calling up the uh, Blue Jays GM. But I don't know, maybe the Blue Jays are like, this is just a blip, a little down year. You know, with this squad, we'll be fine. Or do they pull the ripcord and say, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna shake it up a little bit. I would imagine that Vlad's a fan favorite out there, so they might, not, they might wanna hold on to him as long as they can. There's Nick Castellanos, green Pulsar, 16 out of 99. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I think everyone's expecting them to, but I don't know if they want to or if they even can. It'd be hard to sell that to the fans. Moving Vlad Jr. Bo Bichette's back on the IL, so I, he might he might not be movable at this time. Maybe off season, if anything. There's Riley Green for Detroit. That's going to be for Michael P. There's another Shota. A gladiator on the background. There he is, there's Vlad Jr. Let's see what happens to him. And the Braves gonna make, I, I saw they added Whit Merrifield after 
Ozzy Albies is back on the aisle. I wonder if he'll make any moves. And here's Dane Myers. Marlins has got to shake things up. Yeah, everyone needs pitching, right? Yusai Kikuchi will probably, probably be in a new uniform. Eric M. with the uh, fish. Oh yeah, that's right. They did bring up Nacho, one of their kind of top prospects. I want to say. Yeah, they, they, I guess you got they got a deep, deep, deep farm system. They're gonna put Win Marifold in the outfield. I thought Win Merrifield would 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 have worked out a lot better in Philadelphia. I thought that was a good. Good addition when they did that in the offseason. Yeah, it's, it's quite a team. They're all having down years other than Osuna. They can get hot. Riley, Austin Riley, yeah. Matt Olson can carry them. Yeah, they did it. I mean, that's the scary thing about the Braves. Though that team is too good. They can just get hot at the, at the right time. They've got some injuries on the starting pitching side of things, but... They may be able to work, they could work through that too. Yamamoto and Samad Taylor, rookie auto for the Royals. Coppola with the Royals. Might need to check Samad into our Jaspie's autograph camp. No. Work, with, work with some experts. Listen to our keynote speaker, Mariano Rivera. Do you think the, uh, does anyone think Pete Alonso gets moved by the deadline? There's Jeff McNeil, 7 out of 25. I mean, where, where are the Mets at? I mean, they're in a wild card spot. Maybe they won't. Yeah, not if they're close, right? Nice refractor, Aaron Judge. There we go. Brian Heyman with the Yankees.
There's Jose Ramirez, 129 out of 299. Cleveland, this is for you. And an Aaron Judge Hyper. There we go. Starting to see some parallels. There you go, Brian. All right, two boxes to go. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, Kodai Singh is coming back too. Yeah, this, this that that wild card spot really makes the trade deadline kind of interesting, you know. Some teams are gonna stand pat. You know, some teams are gonna be sellers and take advantage of desperate buyers. You know, pitching will be at a premium. Everybody, everybody wants pitching. We'll see. Will the Marlins move some of their their players? Jazz Chisholm, maybe? There's some talk about Jazz. Maybe, maybe a change of scenery could do well for Jazz Chisholm. I think he's, some injuries always kind of derail him, too. Right, yeah, they move Arias already. Jazz has got to be gone. I mean, they should just move whoever they can. Maybe someone will take a flyer on Josh Bell to be a DA. Maybe move Brian De La Cruz, Jesus Sanchez. Move off all of those guys. And just replenish, you know, try to get some major league ready youngsters and just replenish the team, try to build a young core. Second to last box, here we go. There's Matt Olson, we we're just talking about him. Zach Gallon, 30 out of 75. For you, Jeremy, with the snakes. Kind of a weird year for the Diamondbacks. A little bit of a World Series hangover, maybe. It's Jackson Holiday, Orioles, Aaron. Another base Aaron Judge for Brian Heyman and the Yanks. As they're pitching. And there's Jackson Wolf. Hungry like the wolf. That's going to be for Coppola and the Pirates. Last box coming up. There's Luis Arias who ended up on the Padres. All right, let's finish strong with this final box.
All right, here we go. Final box. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for the fill. We got another hobby case loaded up. So if you missed out on your team in the first or in this hobby case, don't forget to get them in the next hobby case, jazpiecasebreaks.com. Let's see what our final auto is going to be. It's going to be Kyle Leahy, 195 out of 250, purple chrome autograph going to Kevin and the St. Louis Cardinals. We'll do a little autograph recap at the end of this box. Now let's see if we can get anything, anything fun, something low numbered. A super fractor maybe? I haven't seen one. I haven't seen a one on one out of here. And, and ripped open a number of. There's a Jackson Merrill. He's having a nice season. Ripped open a number of these cases. I don't think any of the crew has pulled a one of one. Jackson Merrill will go to EA and the Padres. We see a bonus auto. Maybe we saw a bonus auto in that early box. There's an Ellie Della Cruz for Tristan and the Reds. Uh, we got a Jason Dominguez. We got a Jung Hoo Lee and a Pete Alonso to 250 purple chrome. Yoshinobu Yamamoto and a Kyle Schorber Hyper Parallel at the end. And that, my friends, is that. 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball, 12 box, pick your team four in the books. Thanks everybody for watching, for breaking with me. So it's a big fat mess in here. Yeah, it's just been a lot of breaks. Maybe Cody the dog can help us clean up here. Here's the, we got that nice Heston Kirkstad autograph, some nice color. That Vlad Guerrero Jr. Helix was pretty awesome as well. Thanks, everybody. Pick your team four in the books. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.